Hello, it's Kate from Bonnie Curtis Projects. Thanks for coming and checking out this tutorial today. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you stay updated with the tutorials we have. Okay, so today we've got a bit of a flexi trick. We're gonna do a bit of a split in the air, but don't panic if you don't have your split, it's a bit of a tricky one. So it's not a full split, I'll show you what I mean. If you haven't already, make sure you warm up properly, especially through your hips and your hamstrings, as those are the muscles we're really gonna be stretching. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the move first, and then I will break it down for you, and we can give it a go. This is what it looks like. Optional hair flick. Okay, so number one, to get into this move, you wanna be able to do your plow position. Your plow position is lying on your back and then taking your legs over your head and stretching them towards the floor, like this. Once you're here, you're ready to get into it. So, <laughs> hopefully you're nice and comfortable. I'm gonna take the leg that's away from where I'm facing, down, and I'm gonna put my hands underneath where my bum is and my back is, and I'm gonna stretch like this. Okay, so this isn't a real split. It's more of a split where this leg is going on that diagonal and this leg on this diagonal. So instead of, instead of your split being perfectly like this, it's more diagonal split, which means it's a bit easier, okay? One important thing in this position is the pelvis position. So I'm not perfectly straight like this. I really have to arch my back and I've got to tilt my pelvis down towards the floor. So instead of holding like this, I'm actually going to be holding like this. So see how my back is arched a lot? It's not super comfortable, but it looks good. So I arch my back and I try and put my bum towards the floor. Your hands are making a dinner plate. You can either do two hands for more support or you can take away one and just hold your bum in one hand like this. Your elbow is really pressing into the floor. So the floor is here, my bum is here and it's really pressing into the floor. It can be a little bit sore on your elbow. So if it hurts, just have a break and come back to it again. So I'm in this position, my leg is down, my other leg is up. Okay, let's do it again. So first, legs over your head in your plow position. Then hands underneath your bum. And I'm gonna take one leg down as I tilt my pelvis. See how this is like a shoulder stand? I tilt it, tilt it, tilt it. So now my bum is flat with the floor. And then that's how I get my split position, like this. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna go through the leg positions for you guys, because it does make a big difference. So we'll forget about this leg, I'll put it to the side. And this one, instead of having it, so this is my lower leg, instead of having it completely straight on, I'm gonna turn it out the best I can, and I'm gonna take it a little bit to the corner, okay? Then my top leg is gonna go, again, not straight on like this, off to the side a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. Coming up into your plow. If my legs were straight on, they look a little bit like this. See how my split's not very good? But if I turn this leg out and down, and I take this leg out to the corner, whoop, <laughs> then you can see how it makes my split look a lot better. So it's a bit of a fake split. Okay, so just remember, coming into your plow, got my plate hands, they're resting on my lower back or top of my um, bum. And then my leg comes down, 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 the weight of it changes my hips and my leg stretches out just like this. To come out of it, you can bend that bottom leg, step it over, release your hands and roll. So let's do it one more time. Coming into your plow, legs over your head, get your plates out with your hands and one leg down, lower, lower, lower. This leg up to the corner a little bit more and there you have it. And bend the leg down to come out of it. Ah, and that's it. 
Thank you so much for watching and doing this tutorial with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And if you did enjoy it, we have some other videos of other moves that you can learn. And my next video that I'm making will be a little routine where we put all of them together and add some hair flicks. See you there. If you like this video, you can support us on Patreon. For as low as $1 a month, you can help us keep creating awesome tutorial videos and projects. Check out the link in the video description below. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kate Garrett and I'm a dancer in Bonnie Cutter's Project. Who is Bonnie Cutter's Project anyway? We are an independent dance company based in Sydney. We have beautiful dancers, beautiful ideas that we want to create. And we create genre defying works on stage, online. Sometimes we get to tour when there's no COVID. To find out more about us, please visit our website and follow us on social media. All the links are down below. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to our next tutorial.